The Barbette was very well known in Paris. There is actually a, a major theater critic who opened an article with, have you seen Barbette? All of Paris has seen Barbette. Yep, 100 years ago, the word on everyone's lips, Barbette. His real name is Vanderclyde Broadway. He was a drag performer and aerialist. He wowed crowds all over the world, including at the world famous Moulin Rouge in Paris. And today, the Round Rock man who made it big globally is being remembered with a new exhibit at the Williamson Museum. Yeah, this morning, I'm turning back time on Barbette. It was the beauty and athleticism that made Vanderclyde Broadway famous. He was truly a global headliner. He was a drag aerialist and circus performer in the 1920s and 30s. Vander was better known by his stage name, Barbette. Performed as far away as the Moulin Rouge, the Folie Bergère, did Australian tours, South American tours. But before the spotlight, Vander was raised in Round Rock. It was there he became fascinated with the circus. He fell in love instantly. He knew he was destined to be a performer. He joined the circus at 14 with an act called the Alpharetta Sisters who were looking for another sister for their act. The sisters asked if he'd be okay dressing up in drag and he agreed. It was his ticket to see the world. Drag is a very old art form, so it was common in the 1900s. It was a standard part of vaudeville. Paris was where Barbette really came to life. He was known for dressing up in a woman's ball gown and would trapeze across the stage. Barbette was very well known in Paris. There is actually a, a major theater critic who opened an article with, have you seen Barbette? All of Paris has seen Barbette. Midway through his act, he'd reveal his masculine physique to the sounds of gasping in the audience. In a 1969 New Yorker article, Barbette described his act as a thing of beauty, strange beauty. What determination and grit can take you, especially in if you don't fit where you're from, that you can really transform yourself and find where you belong and be extremely successful at that. There was so much of a story I couldn't include in this story that I did, okay. but uh, he did come back eventually to Round Rock oh. to live out the last part of his life. And he also was a big director with the circus which is pretty incredible. He had a 30 year career just choreographing, which is hey, you know, something yes. that you love. I know something about yeah. that. He was also honored as a local legend by the city of Round Rock a couple years ago too. So incredible story there. Who Un knew? Yeah, exactly. Well, if you'd like to go see Barbette's exhibit, it's now up at the Williamson Museum in downtown Georgetown. It will be up through summer 2024. So you have some time to go check it out. I've got all the details at cbsaustin.com. Just search Barbette Round Rock. And if you got someone or something to